Hello lovely people, welcome to Brown Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are practicing Buttercups and Daisies from the Stepping Stones book. I'll play it for you first. Buttercups and daisies, you're going to have to think about your elbow levels. And with elbow levels, I mean that elbow, my right elbow, my bow hand elbow. Okay, so on the G string, my elbow is a lot higher than when I play on the E string. And you could look at it like this that your upper arm is always parallel to the bow. Look, if I'm up here, my bow is like that, my upper arm is a parallel line to the bow. Can you see that? Now let's get back to the heel because we're now going to play the song and we're going to play it very very slowly so that you can think about dropping that elbow. So I'm going and G, drop your elbow a little to go to the D string, now drop your elbow even more and now we're going to raise that elbow again it even more and now we're going to play long bow all the way and when you're here your hand should be more or less in front of you so that you've played a long bow look if I, if I do it wrong and my arm goes to the side you can see that my bow is slipping on the strings so now when we start to play this song I want you to really think about the levels of your elbow so let's get started on the G string We'll play it very, very slowly for now so that you can really think about that elbow. Off we go. And up to the middle. Drop your elbow a little. Drop your elbow even more. And now we're going to raise our elbow. And raise it even further. Long bow. And now drop your elbow. Starting again at the heel of the bow. My elbow is high now, can you see? Drop your elbow a little. Drop it even more. Raise the elbow. All the way back to the heel. Long. Now drop your elbow. Drop your elbow even more. you're doing uh, but that will become more automatic I promise you so do it very slowly whilst you're completely aware of where your elbows are and then after a week or so you think did I actually do that without thinking about my elbow and that's where we want to go so now I want you to think a little bit about the long bows that are there and we have talked about straight bowing in the past and we've always said when you do a long down bow your arm should stay in front of you so unlike some people who play like that, and you think always that bowing goes like that, it actually goes to the front and not to the side of your body. Okay, so let's now play the long G that you see in bar two. And I want you to really stretch that bow arm. Here we go. Ready? On the G string, so your elbow's high. And... And now stop it for a moment. Can you check that your bow hand is straight in front of you? If you are too much to the side, can you see that your bow is at an angle? 
I want my bow to be parallel to the bridge, this thing here. So your bow always needs to be parallel, so I need to stretch much further forward. Now let's do that again, those two long bows now. Uh, Drop your shoulder and drop your elbow. Okay, let's do that again. Let's go back to the long G. Stretch. Wow. And now drop your elbow. Long G. One more time. Up to go to the G. And now stretch your bow on forward. Stretch it. Wow, yes. And a long D. That is very clever if you can do that. Now let's go back to the beginning and let's practice a whole song once again. So we're getting ready on the G string right at the heel of the bow and our first four notes are going to be to the middle of your bow. Are we ready? After four. One, two, three, four. that you get to the right levels just at the right time. Now let's get us started from the beginning. Listen very carefully to every change of notes if it is properly synchronized. Ready? And... <laughs> share it with your friends if you like and do keep those comments coming in the section below. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.